Pepper Canyon West Housing is a unique project on campus. The towers are 22 and 23 stories respectively that will have about 1,300 beds. So trying to get all that done, 24 month construction period, puts everyone's backs against the wall. It's a very different approach to student housing here on campus where each apartment has prefabricated bathroom and kitchen units that are being prefabricated offsite, flown into the building and set into their final location. We were looking at ways to save time, meet cost, and also provide a safe way to do things on the job site. The pods are one of the biggest contributing factors to get us to that end line. The life of a prefabricated bathroom or kitchen is actually quite a cool life cycle. At KHSNS's facility in Rancho Cucamonga, they start with rolling their own studs. This is a production line type assembly. We start with assembling the frame and the drywall. It then goes into a boxing section where it now becomes a unit. At this point in time, it takes four to five days to cycle through to the point where it's complete. The finishes are brought together. The rough MEP is installed. They're then wrapped. And the reason we do that is because when the units leave here, they're sent to an exterior facility. So we want to make sure they're protected. Once we're ready for them to come to the job site, they load them on 18-wheelers, drive them right down the 15. 30 minutes prior to the delivery arriving, we have KHSNS and their crew prep that green basket. These green baskets that you see, they're engineered specifically for these pods. The crane will take it to the perimeter of the building. They'll secure that platform to our columns, and then they will get their pallet jack and pull it into the actual building. So we're getting about 24 pods just on a, on a one Saturday from six to midday. So doing pretty good so far. The benefits of prefabrication are, are, are extensive. You're greatly reducing the number of trade partners touching a single room. The toilets are there, the electrical's done, the mirrors are installed, so a lot less traffic on the floors. You're drastically reducing the amount of opportunities in which someone might get hurt. Schedule-wise, we probably cut down at least three weeks in a typical interior sequence. Also, you're significantly reducing the amount of trash on a job site and the amount of waste of materials that go into that. There's a few challenges that go along with the prefabricated units. Primarily, adaptability of the unit as we go through design. In most cases, units will require a slab recess in order to set the unit in and drop it down. With 8-inch post-tension concrete decks, adding a slab depression would have been wildly difficult. And we had to find a solution that would be acceptable in a post-tension condition. So we're using a very thin fiber reinforced glass panel, which is about three to four millimeters thick. So we're able to come directly on the, the substrate of the floor with no requirements for a recess in the slab. I have yet to have a problem with KHSNS that they didn't bring a couple of solutions to the table to solve it. Pepper Canyon West was the first project on campus to use a progressive design build model. So the collaboration between the contractor, the architect, and the owner, and building the pods led to how we keep this project on schedule and on budget. It took a lot of coordination to come together to do something new and innovative. There's still some challenges to solve, but it's going pretty well thus far.